Well, hello, and welcome to Stop, Let's Team Up, my Legion Adventure 56. And we are at another classic, two-part. Well, it's not a two-parter. It's just two stories set in a different Legion setting. And we are covering Adventure Comics 354 and 355. Uh, it's still part of the Go-Go Checks era, and... It is the Adult Legion Air story. And I remember reading this in a reprint, and I'm going to tell you what that is. Well, what that is, what they were, because it's multiple. Uh, uh, so, Amazing World of Comics DC 1974, uh, which is number nine, which came out in, it was in November, December 1975 issue. DC Superstars, May 1976. Legion of Superhero Archives, Volume 6, which is where I'm reading it from, which came out in 1996. Good God, this is almost a 30-year-old. Well, I don't want, I'm not doing that math. It's going to make me feel old. Uh, Legion of Superheroes, 1,050 Years of the Future from 2008. DC Co Classic Library, The Legion of Superheroes, The Life and Death of Pharaoh Lad. Uh, Showcase presents Legion of Superheroes number three from 2007, and then Legion of Superheroes Silver Omnibus 2017, and that is volume two. And as I said, that's pretty cool. That's a lot of. And then there is a, ooh, a German Superboy number three, 1968, and a Superman Super Atomic, which is. Australian, an Australian comic. Okay, that's it. But let's let's get to the 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 nitty, not the nitty gritty, the the minutia. Of this who put it together? Again, it is was published on January thirty first, nineteen sixty seven. Uh, editor Mort Weisinger cover a gr one of the classic Legion covers of all time by Kurt Swan, George Klein, and Ira Shop. It is the adult Superman walking through. Uh, the, somewhere where they keep the statues of the dead legionnaires and you see Farrellad statue, you see um, Chemical King's statue. He hasn't even been introduced yet. Saturn, not Saturn Girl, Shadow Lass, but she's going to get introduced in the next three or four issues. Uh, Reflecto, which is going to come up way later in the 80s, and that'll be a whole big thing. And then Quantum Queen, uh, who I don't know if we ever really saw her. I'm not thinking of it. I will have to double check. Um, this was written, uh, plotted, and layouts. Jim Shooter, pencils, Kurt Swan, George Klein, colors, no name, Milton Snappen. Uh, and let's get to some more stuff here. Let me switch references. I'm, I'm double dipping here. I'm using uh, my trusty Legion of Superheroes Index, and I'm using Grand Comic Book Database. Uh, roll Call. Cosmic Man, Lightning Man, Saturn Woman, Brainiac 5, Superman, Element Man, Polar Man, Timberwolf, and Pharaoh Lat in flashbacks only. Uh, we do get to see some of the other Legionnaires in the background. Uh, the villains are Pharaoh Man uh, and the Legion of Supervillains. Uh, and the synopsis is, Superman is summoned to the 30th century by the adult Legion of Superheroes. Arriving, he tours their headquarters co headquarter complex, seeing statues in honor of the members who have died in action and the ones who married. Brainiac 5 greets the Man of Steel with his Bing Crosby pipe. <laughs> uh, and together they explore the headquarters and connect, the me connect with many of the retired members. At the Legion meeting, Cosmic Man, their leader, announces that a mysterious person who seems to know all their secrets has been attacking and destroying their data, weaponry, and ships. Their only hope is to be a 24-hour guard in hope of catching him in the act. After two weeks, an emergency arises when an elevated expressway in Metropolis collapses. Sensing a diversion, Brainiac 5 sends Cosmic Man, Polar Man, and Element Lad, rather than Superman, to handle the disaster. His hunch proves correct, for their mysterious attacker appears and battles the heroes, injuring Timberwolf and Saturn Woman with his steel-like body. Superman soon deduces the enemy's identity and confides his suspicion to Cosmic Man, who decides to wait for him to reappear. When he does, the heroes are almost defeated, but capture him when Superman and Cosmic Man, who had switched costumes beforehand, fooled him. The villain is revealed to be Douglas Nolan, the twin brother of the late Andrew Farrow Lad Nolan. 
He has the same power as his, his brother had and knew their secrets because of their psychic bond between the twins. He at first hated the heroes following Feralad's death or which he blamed them. But he later learned the truth. His hatred recently reawakened, however, when someone put him under mental control. Watching the superheroes from undersea base are those responsible. The adult legion of supervillains, Cosmic King, Saturn Queen, and Lightning Lord. So I was wrong. It is really a two-parter, but it's, it's different. Um, I remember reading this the first time. I guess it was in, I'm not even sure, probably The Amazing World of DC. And my brother had a copy of it. Uh, and it's gorgeous. It's just, it's more of this lovely, gorgeous Kurt Swan art. The splash page of the first issue of um, 354, uh, it's Tales of the Legion of Superheroes. And then there's um, the narrator box or the intro text. Many times we have taken you to the 30th century to meet the Legion of Superheroes, that galactic group of teenagers who guard the universe against all perils. But this time... Let's just go a bit further into the future and see how those power-packed youths turn out when they're grown up. Come with Superman and learn what members will quit the le which members will quit the Legion, which ones will marry, and which will die in the Adult Legion. And it's Superman walking through this area where it shows all the Legionnaires who've got married. Got the roll call box. Brainy Five Cosmic Boy Element Lad Lightning Man. Oh, but Brainy Five Cosmic Man Lightning Man Lightning. Man. Lightning Man, Element Man, Polar Man, Saturn Woman, Superman, Timberwolf, plus guest appearances of a leather of the uh, uh, Legionnaires. And it says Superman, you know, he's the first, his the first, second page, or the first page of the action, he's flying through the time stream. He flies out. And he's going, why have they, you know, they haven't called for me in years. And he flies out. And you see this uber, super, this mod, more modern, the, the, the old clubhouse, it looks like the inverted rocket. It isn't there. It's this new complex. He walks through the Gallery of the Dead and you see Chemical King, Feralad, Lad, um, Reflecto, Shadow Woman. Uh, and then you see all the married Legionnaires. And then, honest to God, Brainiac 5's turned into Ben Crosby. But he comes in, he's older, his receding hairline and the wonderful courts are on art. He takes every character that he's designed for this era and just made him look older and it's great because it's a natural age um timberwolf's now a member uh he hasn't been a member he hadn't joined yet and he's got like an errol flynn pencil thin mustache it's really and he's wearing his um i guess that's his original costume it's you know the costume he wears here um and then you, they get a chat with some of the married people you see matter reader lad is president uh colossal man has retired because he's lost his powers uh, Starman, a hot former star boy, and Dream Girl have retired. Um, Bouncing Boy and Dual Damsler married. I think this is the first time that they're kind of hinted at as a couple. And Polar Man is joined. And um, again, more just great art. Um, th the destruction scenes of everything that's broken. You know, you fly. They fly into action. Kurt Swan flying poses the best. Uh, and you see. Polar, Polar Man and Cosmic Man and Element Man save the day. And then there's this whole... And then the power is cut off to the clubhouse, and that's the end of part one. Part two is called Once Against the Le One Against the Legion. And there's this huge fight scene in the pitch black, and only Superman can kind of see. And, he, you know, he takes out people. He injures... Uh, the mysterious villain injures Saturn Girl... And Superman figures it out while he's walking through yet another set of statues for dead legionnaires. This time it's out in the garden in the Reese. Um, and him and he talks to, to Cosmic Man about a plan. Uh, the, the, the guy attacks again. The legionnaires confront him. Um, he knocks Element Lad out, Lightning Lad out, Saturn Girl, Brainiac 5. He pins Superman to the wall with kryptonite bands. And then he bursts a magnesium flare. Um, in front of Cosmic Man, and that's when we learn that they pulled the old Batman Superman switch the costumes routine. Uh, and they, you know, they find out he's been brain controlled and it, they feel sorry for him. And then you see the three baddies in the NFC base. It's such a good comic. There's some good stuff in it. I mean, it is, it is a classic. Jimbo pointed that out. It is just amazing classic. Um, but there are some things that are dated. You get married and the wife stays at home and the man goes to work. So most of the, you know, Saturn Girl's the only active women. 
Um, it's a very 1950s Leave it to Beaver kind of portrayal of what happy married couples are. Which I'm not saying that that doesn't exist, but it's just kind of, it's really kind of weird. And it's just weird to me now reading it like that. So let's move on to 355, which is the one I don't, I didn't, you know, I I think I'll, I read the first, the 354 a bunch of times before I ever saw a copy of 355. So 355 was April 1967. Uh, cover artist Kurt Swan, George Klein, Irish Shop. Uh, the name of the story is The War of the Legion. Credits Mort Weisinger. Editor Plotter, Plotter, Scripter, Penciler, Layouts Only, Jim Shooter, Penciler, Kurt Swan, Inker, George Klein, Letterer, Milt Snappen, Roll Call, Cosmic Man, Saturn Woman, Brainiac 5, Lightning Man, Polar Man, Superman, Element Land, and two new members, Lex Luthor and Mix, Mr. Mix Picklevicks. I said that wrong. Villains, Cosmic King, Lightning Lord, Saturn Queen, Beauty, Blaze, and Echo. Uh, they will come back later. Uh, they're very cool. Cameo Parents, Pharaoh Man, and the Synopsis. The Legion of Superheroes, which now includes two new members, Echo and Beauty Blaze, plots to defeat the su superheroes by capturing a Legionnaire. When Superman decides to depart to, for his own time, Brainiac 5 accompanies him to the time travel lanes. They have time travel lanes? Do they have HOV time travel lanes? Oh, I'm just asking. Uh, and is captured by the villains moments after the Man of Steel vanishes. Hours later, the villains announce to the worried Legionnaires that they have abducted Brainiac 5. Envelopes materialize containing different destinations at which his location will be revealed. Each her hero travels to his appointed spot and defeats the supervillain waiting for them. Cosmic Man meets Echo at Echo Canyon. Saturn Woman encounters Saturn Queen at the Universal Universe Fair for, in Metropolis. Lightning Man finds his brother Lightning Lord in the Metropolitan Power Company's power plant. Uh, po Polar Man battles Beauty Blaze on the island of Java. Element, and Element Man fights Cosmic King in a chemical laboratory. The Legionnaires learn that Brainiac 5 is being held in the villain's undersea base and meet there to free the, their comrade, only to find out the real villains are waiting for them. The heroes have actually been battling lifelike images. The Legionnaires now soon over, are soon overcome, but they are saved when two armored-clad figures arrive to rescue them. They prove to be the 30th century descendants of Lex Luthor and Mr. Mix Picklevick. Uh, the Grateful Heroes accept them as new members of the Legion. Um, again, those synopsis are from the Illustrated Comic Index. I'm up to issue four. There are only two more. I'm enjoying it, but I will probably go to the Grand Database and the DC Database. But this one has a great cover. It's Superman flying backward in time um, with the, the Legion of Supervillains taunting him. Um, the splash page of the War of the Legions, it shows the two legions battling and then the armored character person with an L on his chest and one on the shorter one with an M charging into the battle. And then it's basically like the synopsis says, it starts with the undersea betas. I'm a big fan of Beauty, Blaze, and Echo. They're wonderful, wonderful designs. Um, I'm going to do, I'm going to try to pull up pictures of them and post them on the interwebs before I post this. Um, this has gone up late. It's Friday afternoon. I'm recording it. I will post it either tonight or tomorrow. Uh, and then I will have a weekend episode on Sunday and get back in sync. It was just been a busy week at work. Um, so you see the Legionnaire saying goodbye to Superman. Uh, you see Brainiac being captured. And again, it's this Kurt Swan art. I like that um, Element Lad's a tad out of shape. Um, he's, you know, got a pot belly like I do a little bit, it seems. Uh, Echo is a great villain, again. Uh, Saturn Queen, a great Saturn Queen is great. Uh, I do like Lightning Lord's original costume. Just add a cape to it, I think, like his brothers. Um, Polar Boy. I like seeing Polar Man. I really like seeing him a Legionnaire, and I was so happy when he eventually becomes a Legionnaire later in the 80s. Um, yeah, there's a picture. Element Lad's built like a 1950s wrestler. It's very cool. Um, and then I just think, you know, and then they're rescued. It's a thrill, you know. The surprise people in the con—it's like kind of like parallel to Surprise Mysterious, except they're actually new heroes. But I like it. it it's these. These are two issues that I really hold. I love them, and I love rereading them, and I've reread them. 
by themselves. I would see it, you know, I would see a picture of it online. I'd read it. I would flip through a box of comics. I would read it. I would thumb through a Legion. I would grab Legion book off, archive off. Ooh, I'll read it. Uh, they're just so good. And I think if, you have, if you're not, this is the, prompt. We're, like I said, we're right in that sweet spot of the perfect Silver Age Legion. So, well, next week, I think I'm going to do three issues. Uh, I think uh, I haven't decided. I lo- I'm looking at their bunch of one and done stories. I just don't want to do, I don't want to split up a two party. So I'm going to kind of figure out how I'm going to do that. But we'll see where that happens next, last, next week. Uh, this weekend or tomorrow or whatever, when I put it up Sunday the 5th, um, will be Stargirl and another comic. And I've cut it down to two choices. I just haven't made up my mind which one I want to read tomorrow or later today. Uh, and then on, hey, on Tuesday, Opal City Confidential number six, the first two appearances of Prince of G- Gavin, the Paul Levitt's Steve Ditko Starman. I'm looking forward to that. But until then, guys, remember, be safe, be smart, be kind to one another, and read some comics.